Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ietunde Adeyemi. Please do not mind the fact that the background is a bit dark. It's um, about to rain where I am. But the most important thing is you can hear me and I am going to share a very vital knowledge. So today I'm going to be talking to you about new cabin crew or redundant cabin crew. Now let me explain. You know, there's this force about are airlines ever going to take new cabin crew after this COVID-19 pandemic or they're just going to focus on their redundant cabin crew all alone. Now, I'm going to talk about it in this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Some people believe that um, it costs the airlines less by taking their redundant cabin crew uh, than for them to employ a new cabin crew whereby they will have to train them all over again. Now let me explain, in as much as it's a great point, there is no airline that would not need a new, that will not need new cabin crew. First and foremost, let me clear something up. Etihad, Emirates and Qatar, they are funded by their government and so they have provision for new trainings, things that have to do with new cabin crew, it's already in their agenda. It's not a privately owned airline where you have to source money from your pocket, it's funded by the government. Now, the redundant cabin crew, it's not all of them that are going to come back. You see, life is in seasons and things change. This coronavirus has been around for close to six, six to seven months now. A lot of things have changed. At this time, a lot of redundant cabin crew are making a review about their lives. Everyone is thinking about what step to take. What is my next step? Am I still going to go back to the airlines? Now, first and just like I said, not all the redundant cabin crews are going to come back. The airlines are not going to wait for the redundant cabin crew to make up their minds whether they're going to come back or not before they start operations. The most important thing is the airline, first and foremost, is a business. And there is no way they will not need new cabin crew. Okay. Even if the redundant cabin crews, even if they decide to come back, not all of them is going to remain as cabin crew economy. Remember there is hierarchy in the cabin crew job. There's the cabin crew economy class, there's cabin crew first class, there's cabin senior and the cabin service director. Now, redundant cabin crew, some people have been working there for 15 years. Some people have been working there for four years. It is not all redundant cabin crews that are cabin crew economy. So tell me, are you saying that a flight should not operate without a cabin crew economy? Everybody's position is as important. And so there is no way the airlines will always be in need of new cabin crew. So for those of you out there wondering if you are as important as the cabin crews that have been there for years, yes, the airlines need fresh cabin crew, cabin crews that have no experience, cabin crews that are interested in working, maybe if your dream airline is to work for any of these Middle East airlines, take that chance and send in your applications once they start recruiting. Don't stay back and say, okay, they're going to take their redundant cabin crew first. Yes, they will put them in mind first, they, you know, because of loyalty, they've been with the airline and all that, but don't think that you're not as important. But So you have to work on yourself and make yourself marketable because you are valuable. An airline will always need a new cabin crew because the cabin crew that they employed last year, in this year or in next year, is going to apply for cabin crew first class. The cabin crew first class will definitely want to become a cabin crew senior. A cabin crew senior will definitely want to become a cabin service director. Even if you don't, even if promotion is not quick in the airline that in some airlines, the point I'm trying to make is there will always be need, there will always be need for new cabin crew because when things go back to normal, they are going to open new routes. They are going to um, bring in um, new aircraft. So, and who are the people that are going to fly those aircraft? Cabin crew. So there will always be a need for cabin crew. So I do not want you as and a cabin crew as aspirant to think that. Um, um, when they start recruiting and they want to take their redundant cabin crew always have this at the back of your mind there will always be a need for cabin crews economy who are the cabin crew economy most cabin crew economy are cabin newly recruited cabin crew cabin crew that just finished their training and 
started flying. That is the most because you always have to start from cabin crew economy. So they will always be in need of that. The second one, not every redundant cabin crew is going to come back. And if everybody, is, if all the redundant cabin crew don't come back, are you going to say the airlines are not going to operate? No. That is why there will always be, after this COVID-19, there's going to be a whole lot of recruitment and assessment, open day assessment um, activities. And the um, third one, every airline always wants to expand. Expansion is very vital in business. There will always be new routes and there will always be new aircraft. And so who are going to fly, who are going to, who is going to work inside those aircraft and who is going to fly those new routes? Cabin crew. So new cabin crew, redundant cabin crew, they are just as important. I don't believe there's one that is more important than the other. They both have very vital roles to play in the growth of an airline. So I know you have gained something in my channel today, as usual. If you're just joining, my name is Iyetunde Adeyemi. I started my cabin crew career since 2007. I'm currently a VIP cabin crew. I want you to like and subscribe to my channel. You will gain a lot. And please don't just watch only this video. I have so many videos. Click on the link below to watch them. Have a blessed day.